knock knock welcome 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 to our anniversary cottage come on in Hi. Hi. So what day is it today? Today the 27th, 28th actually, 28th of November. It's my friend's anniversary, Uluvuyo. So happy anniversary friend if you're watching. Okay, so where are we? We are in Plattenburg, um, Plattenburg Bay. Is that how you pronounce it? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's where we're at. We are at the, I, for, I keep forgetting this place. It's the Rose, oh, Robeburg Hotel. Oh. Okay, so share the backstory of this year's anniversary and drama. <sighs> okay, so basically, uh, we almost actually didn't come to this anniversary this week, or this weekend, or this year, in fact, because Liru was scheduled to go on an international trip, work trip, as you guys may know. However, it was cancelled. And so the whole excitement and the looking forward to celebrating our anniversary was sort of dumped down. And we had originally booked a nice night with our friends, Uavu and Unati. So we disappointed them by cancelling. So because of the whole thing, it just weighed us down. So we didn't think we'd actually book and, and come here and celebrate. So this whole thing actually, what did we book? We booked last week. Mm. Yeah, we only booked this place last week. Such a last minute. So. Okay. So what are the one thing we have in common? What's the one, sorry, what's the one thing that we have in common? You and I? Yes. Hulu <laughs> Aho? What would you say? I, I guess, because we are really totally different people. We are, I think also our love for adventure, like our love for traveling. That would be something we have in common and yeah that's that's the only thing i can think of right now do we want more kids we do initially we didn't remember when we were like we're done we're done but now we do we want one more child and then we are done done what's your favorite part of the day for me it's the morning or the evening it depends how the morning goes <laughs> but i think mostly i like the mornings where it's nice and quiet i can make my coffee, start the day, listen to the birds, yeah, and plan my day. So I like the mornings. And you? Hmm. The evenings. I was about to say you're a night owl. Yeah, I like the evenings. Yeah. Because there's no responsibility in the evening. Yeah. I can just do me. That's true. And there's no one to send you around because you like I'm sleeping. <laughs> so I can enjoy myself in peace. Okay. Um, what's your biggest weakness? My biggest weakness, I think I like things done <laughs> like this, like quick, quick, which often makes you feel pressured, right? Mm -hmm. And it often makes people around me pressured, so that's the one thing. And also, hopefully, that noise will not be so bad. Should I go close to the bathroom window? No. Okay. What's your biggest strength? My biggest strength, I follow through. Like I have commitment. When I've committed to do something, I follow through. Regardless of whether I enjoy it anymore or I want to, I commit. When I commit, I commit and I go all the way. So that's my strength. Hmm. What's the biggest learning experience you've had? Motherhood. Really? Yeah. Like it has taught me patience, taught me grace, taught me about myself, taught me about second chances, taught me about myself, my own mother, my own childhood, redefined our own marriage experience. So it's been an incredible journey. What is your idea of a perfect date? Um, it's a picnic actually. I'm gonna close this door. It's a day where, where you and I are out on a picnic. We haven't done that. And we like relax and have strawberries and cream and somewhere where there's nature and yeah also i like dinner dates okay yeah what's one advice you wish you could give up one advice it says vice oh might be advice okay so it would be the pressure that we put on mothers to do the same thing or to do what has always been done 
So if we could give that up and allow people the opportunity and the chances to find what works for them and give them freedom in that and normalize it actually, if we could do that, if we could give that advice up, that would help. What's a cause that is important to you? Education, rural education. If I were to open a school that is fully equipped with all the technology, latest technology, um, latest education, what do you call it? educational, what not, in the rural areas. If we could have access to better education and resources, that's a cause that's very close to my heart. And yours? Never thought about it. Mm -mm, never right. thought about it. Yeah. What's the best compliment you've ever received? My pretty smile. I received that just now, today. Hi, Bo. What about me and, and your legs? Hi, Bo. You said best. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, cool. No, no, let's, yes, and you. No, 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 no. Let's move on. No, you've chosen your uh, best. And my husband married me for my legs. No, it's, it's, it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Um, sweet or savory? Savory. Mm, really? Yeah. I guess, I guess myself too. Funny story, um, if I can talk about myself now. Yeah. So, um, before we got married, I used to be a sweet tooth, like, oh dude, oh it was God. all sweets and, <sighs> yeah, and then the office knew that I'm a sweet person, not it's sweet always, person, yeah, I just, uh, I just chips and sweets. Yeah. After getting married, I was told no more. Yeah, no more. Now I can't stand them. It takes me like a whole month to finish a slab of chocolate. Yeah. The sweets we bought now for Ulu Aho, I think four days ago. Yeah. I only just finished them now. So. Really? Yeah. So I've I've, I've been a good influence. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. What makes you smile the most? My family. You, Ulu Aho, my sisters. The in-laws. Yeah. Loajo, that's definitely. What song can you listen to on repeat? It's You Know My Name by Tasha Cops. <laughs> I can listen to that song all day. Okay. What about the Mali music? I used to have that on repeat. I can listen to that the whole week. Like, mm. repeat the whole album. In fact, all his albums, like play only the, his albums the whole week, I could do that. Yeah. What's one thing people don't know about you? Whew. Um, that I, I am extremely emotional, like the smallest thing make me cry. I was actually having this conversation with her, but she was telling me that she's never seen me cry. Really? Yeah. Uh, and I've also said the same thing that it's when I think I was telling her that I was having an emotional breakdown and she was like, yo, I see if you were to have that in my presence, I wouldn't know what to do because I don't know you to be that person. So people don't think that I have emotional breakdowns. And they don't know that you are scared of being sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm extremely scared of being sick. Yeah. What are the three things you can't live without? Uh, my Bible, a pen, and a journal. Okay. Vintage or new? Vintage. Yeah, that's for sure. Like these vintage windows. Guys, did you notice them? They are... They are very nice. Like this whole pan of the way they've done their windows here is incredible. That's my favorite part. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your current TV character obsession? Dan Levy from Sheets Creek. <laughs> I will not talk on that. What's the most adventure, adventurous thing you've done? Um, up sailing, canoeing, and I think hiking is an adventure that I've, adventurous thing that I've done. I want to go swimming with the sharks, and Can't I wait. want to skydive, and I want to bungee jump. Those are the next three things I want to do. You sound more uh, impressive than myself because I don't think I I've done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet you into it. I can do you skydiving. Sky diving. I'll do skydiving, but you can forget the sharks. It's like going into the lion's cage and like, hey, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> yeah. What's your current favorite piece of clothing that you own? This one. Mm -hmm. You know why? Why? 
because you bought it for me. Mm -hmm. uh, when did you buy it? Mm. Two days ago. Two days ago, yeah. Yeah, it's my anniversary gift, so it's quite nice. Aww. What's a must have uh, clothing item that you should own? A black dress. Oh my god. Why a black dress? Because when you're feeling bloated, black dress comes that. When you don't know what to wear, you can just wear the black dress with some colorful shoes. When you are in a rush and need to cover somewhere, you can just put on a black dress and you don't have to iron it because black somehow doesn't get bothered by not being ironed. True. What's inspiring in your life right now? Um, I think my relationship with God. That's inspiring me right now. Yeah. Okay. I know, I don't think. I just need to know. What's something you notice about someone when you first meet them? Their teeth. Oh. <laughs> Females. Yeah. Okay. What's your biggest regret? I don't have one. Yeah. You should be that you didn't marry me sooner. But anyway, that was the That's correct yours. answer. That should be the correct answer. That's yours. What are you currently reading? At the moment, nothing. Oh, I am reading a lot of things that have to do with the board exam that I'm writing soon. So I'm not reading anything for fun. If you could raid one woman's closet, who would it be? Oh my gosh, it would be a Mazwi, it would be Omila Kapokas, and it would be. Yeah, those two people I can think of at the top of my head. Okay. If you could switch lives with one person for a day, who would it be? Kerry Washington, American. And here in South Africa. Oh, Zizo Beta. If I could live her life just for like. One, one day, mm -hmm. one day, here, yeah. Sizzle bed. Okay. Uh, what's one thing you've always wanted to try, but you've been too scared to do? Skydiving. Really? Yeah. Okay. I think <laughs> you were scared of it, but okay. What's the one thing you wish you knew at the age of 19? That my life would turn out nicely, that I would have it, I would live a nice life. I wouldn't flip because I thought I would flip her for the rest of my life. Okay. Yeah. I wish I knew more about finances, you know. No, you saving for the fish. Nineteen, so that you marry me at twenty. Okay, that too. And then That's the finances. Right. And then the finances. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Besides your phone or wallet, what's the? Uh, what's a couple of must-have purse items? lip bulb a oh my gosh in fact number one hand lotion i cannot survive without a hand lotion so i have like 10 hand lotion and then something for your lips and obviously nowadays a sanitizer as well as your mask for me being a guy i don't own a purse so something that maybe that is always necessary is some sort of like a multi-tool as a guy, you know, you're always fixing things, trying to pry things and open, fixing. Yeah, so you just have one of these multi tools like a leather and knives, because you have knives everywhere. Okay, the knife is an obsession. Funny, I'm scared of knives, but I like Guys, knives. He is so scared of knives. Like, if I want to scare him, I just hold a knife, and he's like, "Big, big, put that down, put that down," because he's scared I'm gonna hurt myself. Yeah. Yeah. He thinks I'm clumsy. But I like knives. Yeah. What's something you can't do? I can't sing, I can't dance. Yeah, and I don't mind, I'm fine. And we can't swim. And we, I kind of can swim. I oh, yeah, 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 you way better yeah, off than I know me. What to, I know how to handle myself. I don't think I'll drown. Yeah. Okay. What's the best vacation you've ever taken? The best vacation. The Cape Town. Do you remember the trip we had in Cape, to Cape Town in 2017? Mm -hmm. That was such 
an awesome trip. So that way. Okay. Yeah. Favorite food? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, I would I could eat umfu every day, and I'm so happy Ulu Akwa enjoys it. So yes, she does, and she, yeah, and she enjoys the Marcy. She enjoy, enjoys plain yogurt. She, exactly. She's really her mom's child. Favorite dessert? Chocolate cake. Yours? Chocolate muffin for me. Hmm. I don't know, hey. Yeah, Something sweet. Person. I'm not really a dessert person, but I like. Mouth of pudding, but not like all the time. But you know, yeah. I would go for that. Oh, ice cream does that count as a dessert? It does okay. Ice cream, definitely ice cream. Then, uh, favorite snack? What is it? I don't know. What do you like to snack? Chalk sticks. Is it chalk sticks? Yes, I love those because they like sweet and then the end they savory. So, I enjoy those. Okay, favorite movie that made you cry? What movie? Sorry. What movie made you cry? What, what was it called? Black Panther. I almost said Wakanda. Black Panther made me cry. It gave me so many chills. So, yeah, that one. Black Panther. You should watch 12 Years a Slave. That's the one for me that made, I wouldn't say cry, but made me feel all types of emotions. And then you hated the white people for a moment. Yeah, I would like to say that. <laughs> We should actually see if we could hire it. I can watch that. Like, you can watch it on your own. I'm good. But how am I going to be interested? Because I tried and then I was just so bored. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that one for me. Okay. What's your favorite movie of the last five years? Black Panther. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> for me, it would actually be either John Wick or the edge of tomorrow oh my gosh edge of tomorrow guys we've watched that movie 10 times and every day every time we watch it Ulira is so focused as if it's like i love it again hey man it's so like i feel like a, is nothing. it's like I'm, I'm seeing something new every time it's such a nice movie it is a nice movie you guys should go ahead and watch it the edge of tomorrow tom cruise hey yeah and then john wick which is what's his name john wick is keanu reeves keanu reeves and the edge of tomorrow has that lady that you like Yes, what's her name? The one who's in the quiet place. Yes. Um, Emily, Emily Blunt? Emily is Blunt? it Blunt? Yes. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. So, yeah, but anyway. So. And The Quiet Place is quite a good movie as mm. well. Yeah. What's one talent you wish you had? Painting and drawing. Oh, that's a good one. I w when I was young, I wish I could draw. But for me, I think right now, I'll be playing a musical instrument, mm. especially the piano. What's something you don't want to be doing in 10 years? That I'm currently doing. Yes. I don't want to be an employee. I'm not an employee now, but I know I will be. But I don't want to be employed by someone in the next 10 years. I want to have my own practice. What's the best thing that happened this year? I passed my masters. We got a new car. Um, Luaho turned a year old. You did not lose your job. Okay, for me that my was one. Alive. Uh, for me that was one. I did not lose my job or yeah. take a knock to my salary. So, yeah. because of what's things. happening this year. So yeah. Yeah, we can even afford a trip away. What color clothing do you wear the most? Black. Okay, what's something you are tired of? Nothing, I don't know. What am I tired of? What have I been complaining about? Masks. Oh yes, I hate them. Guys, yo, I hate them. I can't wait until Corona is over. Yeah. Who do you turn to when you are sad? Um, first, I go to God because I don't want to overwhelm you with my raw and fresh emotions so that he can counsel me and calm me down and then I talk to you as your husband as my husband <laughs> okay um, what did you want to do with your life at the age of 12 I wanted to be a psychologist that's true yeah. so the backstory of how you wanted to be a psychologist it's what somewhere is? in my video. So oh, so they know that. that. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Describe yourself in a hashtag. Hashtag. 
Hashtag love. Hashtag consistent. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite thing about your career? Uh, that I get to help people um, redefine themselves, redefine what they think um, is their major difficulty. And I help them in zooming out of their problems so that they can have new perspective, new eyes and see that they are actually okay, that they're fine. They can, they have the capacity and the, and the courage and the strength to cope and move on. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, the Netherlands. And you? For me, it would be America. Somewhere in America. Somewhere in America. Okay, why? And I always find them interesting and I think I would fare pretty well. I think I would have an above average IQ for them. <laughs> <laughs> no offense meant to them, but I like, I've always find it an interesting place. Yeah. And obviously the, the language there is English. Yeah. Um, I could do Europe, but not Germany. Maybe France. I also think France. You don't want to stay in the Netherlands with me? They speak Afrikaans in the Netherlands. Well, actually, yeah, it sounds like Afrikaans. No, I don't want to stay. I want to say, je ne sais quoi. Oui, oui, oui. So then. Okay, I think we're done, right? That was the last question. No, one more. No, that was the last question. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. I think okay. we die. So the plan guys for today was to do 50 questions with the Sejos, even though I answered most of them, at least um, he participated by asking the questions. Yeah. I'm so, nervous in front of the camera if you didn't know. No, they know. Or behind. They know. Yeah. So the 50 in celebration of our fifth year anniversary, I couldn't just ask five. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please share this video with the rest of your friends and your family and do not forget to subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay.